All right, guys, welcome back to What If Gohan Was Raised by Raditz. We are getting into the super arc, and things are going to get really interesting, so stay tuned. With all that being said, let's get to it. We cut to Beerus. It's been years since the Majin Buu arc. Gohan's empire has only risen more and more. G Gohan, Vegeta, and Nappa have grown into full-grown warriors. However, Beerus wouldn't know any of this. Beerus would just be asleep. Dreaming of a Super Saiyan God. Dreaming of an opponent who can actually challenge him. Suddenly, Beerus would wake up. As he woke up, he would look throughout the entire room. Confused, trying to remember what it was. When he was in the bath, he finally remembered it. It was a Super Saiyan God, he said excitedly. Whis, point me out to all the surviving Saiyans. Whis would sigh and say, are you sure about this, my lord? Yes, well... Gohan, Vegeta, and Nappa, and Broly are the surviving ones. However, Vegeta and Nappa are all there. And Goku's also pretty strong, and, but he's on King Kai's planet. King Kai, that's pretty close. Let's go to him. Beerus would go to King Kai's planet, just like in canon. But what would change is when he would go to Gohan. Suddenly, Beerus would land on the capital planet and just walk straight up to them. Gohan got ready to fight. Who are you, intruder? But then Vegeta began to shake as he remembered who it was. He remembered being a kid and looking up to Lord Beerus, looking up to the man that made his father a footstool. Beerus would say, I simply want to know about the Super Saiyan God. Super Saiyan God? Hm. I don't know anything about that, but the closest thing to a god is me. He would point to himself, smirking. Beerus would be intrigued. He's seen mortals fooling himself, but not like this. Does he even know who he is? Interesting. What makes you say that? Because I got godlike power. And I'm the one who defeated Frieza and Majin Buu. As suddenly he would tap into Super Saiyan 3 and begin to charge at Beerus, hitting him straight in the face. This power was amazing. For a mortal at least. Nothing to Beerus, but it was far stronger than Kakarot. Beerus would then grab him and push him down to the floor, flicking him down to the ground, defeating him instantly. Beerus would laugh and say, Ah, uh, I'm not gonna lie, those are impressive feats, but they're nothing compared to me. Give me some food before I destroy you and this entire planet. Gohan's men were forced to give Beerus food, and as he ate, he would slowly heal up. And Vegeta would tell him about Beerus. Gohan was annoyed, he hated having someone above him. He swore that one day he would kill Beerus, but he can't do it now. Gohan would then go and look over at Nappa his only friend. As he sighed, he said, could you go to Namek? The Namekians might know something about this, and if they don't, you can use their Dragon Balls. Nappa would nod as he went off in the space pod and went off to Namek. Gohan simply sighed, not knowing what to do, as all he could do was watch Beerus eat. He felt so helpless. Beerus could do anything, and Gohan could do nothing to stop him. Gohan hasn't felt this helpless since Raditz first got him. He remembered Raditz torturing him. He remembered Raditz taking him away from his planet. He remembered feeling so helpless, so weak, that he wanted help, but no one was out there. No one could ever look after him. He was merely a warrior, a tool. Gohan then began to swell with anger. He swore he would never let anyone make him feel that again. Yet he did. Yet Beerus comes here like he owns the place. After all he worked towards. After Gohan worked so hard to become who he is. After Gohan worked to become the emperor of the universe. Beerus walks over him and treats him like he's nothing. He swore he would kill Beerus as he looked at him. His heart pounding. Beerus would look at him and say, Gohan. But then Gohan would begin to get, to get scared. Beerus must realize that Gohan wants to kill him. He must have read his mind or something. Gohan would shake, thinking that Beerus is going to fight him for real. And Beerus looks at him and says, You should come sit down with me. This is some good food. Gohan laughs as he sits down and eats with Beerus. And Beerus actually has a good time. And Gohan warms up to Beerus a bit. He still wants to kill him for humiliating him. But at least Beerus can enjoy a good meal with him. There's that. As they were eating, they were waiting for Nappa to come back. As Vegito looked down at both of them, surprised that Beerus would simply just eat like that. He shows up out of nowhere, demands a fight, then eats. I guess he is a god, he can do whatever he wants. Suddenly, the space pod would arrive as Nappa would walk forth. 
Nappa would say, I got good news and bad news. Good news is I know how to get a Super Saiyan God. We need to do a ritual. Five Saiyans hold their hands and put their energy to another. However, we're one Saiyan short. All the Saiyans would then sigh. But then Beerus had an idea. We... S yes, my lord. Go to King Sky Planet and revive Goku. And bring him here. Yes. We begin to leave. And Vegeta said, what? Revive Kakarot? Beerus would laugh as you see my assistant. Whis can bring people back from the dead. It is rare for him to do this, but when I need a fighter like this, I can't help myself. Eventually, Goku would come back revived, as they would all do the ritual. Gohan's hair began to slowly turn red. As it began to stand up, he walked towards Beerus. As Beerus got ready to fight, are you ready, boy? Yeah. I'm ready. As Beerus and Gohan both began to battle, Gohan was fighting to kill. Gohan was fighting ruthlessly, like he's always had for his entire life. However, he was against a god. Would it be enough? He just didn't know. As Gohan and Beerus fought, Gohan would get stronger and stronger the more they fought, and he began to ease into his power. Beerus would say, you know, you're something else, Gohan. Oh yeah? What's that? Maybe it's because you're a Saiyan. Maybe it's because you were raised that way. Or maybe it's both. No matter what happens, you always fight to kill. You're always fighting, no matter how the odds seem against you. I remember when I used to do that before I was a god. So are you related to me, Gohan said? No. I'm understanding my prey, he said as he smirked and hit Gohan straight in the chest and punched him down to the planet. But then Gohan flew back up and kicked Beerus. He grabbed his face and bit on his ear as hard as he could. Beerus then got mad and bit Gohan's arm as they both pulled back in pain. Beerus would laugh and say, I didn't take you for a biter. What are you, five? Gohan would say, shut up, Beerus. You come to my planet. Treat me like I'm trash. Look down upon me just because you're a god. Well, guess what, Beerus? I am the mighty Gohan. I am the emperor of the universe. And even if I lose, even if I die, I will die knowing that I fought you with everything I got. Ah! As he began to yell, his power began to rise. As then he pushed Beerus more and more and more. Beerus had to push up his power more and more. Now, Beerus wasn't going into anything that he couldn't handle. But it was entertaining to see how much he had to boost his power. Beerus was intrigued with this Gohan. He seemed special. He could see something inside of him. Beerus would say, you know what, Gohan? I think it's time to test you. Test me, yeah. Beerus would then charge a massive energy ball as he would throw it right towards Gohan. As Gohan looked up at it, he flew up towards the ball and grabbed it and began to absorb it. Beerus would say, really? You are quite an interesting fellow. Gohan would say, shut up, as he continued to battle Beerus. Suddenly, the Super Saiyan God powers would slowly lose Gohan's body. But he kept fighting, even though his hair wasn't red anymore. It seemed that his body remembered what it was like and was fighting from that memory and he still had somewhat of the power. Beerus was so impressed, he's never seen anything like this. A mortal who can fight like this. A mortal who acts like this. So smart, such a powerful battle IQ, and yet ruthless at the same time. Gohan's power and Gohan's intellect all mixed in together. Every blow, every punch had the intent to kill. However, Beerus would then begin to laugh as Gohan said, what is it? Oh, Frieza called you all monkeys, but I think you're smarter than Frieza. It's just funny to me. Gohan then looked confused. What are you talking about? Sorry, I just remembered something. It doesn't matter anyway. The battle's already won. Your god power has almost completely vanished. Beerus would say as in he karate chopped Gohan, sending him down to the planet, winning. As he flew down, he looked down at the planet. All the Saiyans were ready for him to destroy it. But then, Beerus just smiled, saying, that was fun. You know, you Saiyans should come train on my planet sometime. It will be more fun to defeat you stronger. Beerus would then laugh as Whis and Beerus left. Nappa would pick up Gohan and put him in bed. As Gohan would wake up hours later, Nappa would say what happened. Gohan was excited to train. Gohan was excited to become stronger, but at the same time, he needed to defeat Beerus. He needed to prove that he was the strongest in the universe. 
Meanwhile, Goku would go to Earth. He needed to stop Gohan's empire, but he didn't want to fight his own son. First off, he couldn't even win against him. Second off, he wanted to get through to him. He knew or there had to be something left in there, something he can grab to, something he can use to make Gohan his old self again. He didn't know what, but it had to be out there. And that's going to leave things off. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of the video down below. Peace out.